Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Guns Explained. I'm your host, Cameron Porter. We've got a great episode here this week. We're going to be joined by our good friend of the show, Jordan Mitchell. He's going to be answering a question for us. How much shot would a shotgun spread if a shotgun could spread shot? So Jordan, thanks for joining us today. It's good to be here, man. All right. So uh, the main question I have, I mean, you see a lot in video games where you know you shoot a shotgun and from head to toe, it's just blowing They're up the guy. Done. They're gone. It's just gone. Is that how it is in real life? Not in the slightest bit, man. <laughs> the shotgun spread depends upon the type of shotgun, the length of the barrel, the chokes that you use, what kind of rounds and BBs are in it. So many factors, like everything we talk about, man. Okay, so I think everybody kind of understands length of the barrel, how that could affect it. But you did just mention a thing called choke. Yes. What is choke? Chokes are the bottleneck at the end of the bottle. So as your BBs travel downstream, they run up on what's called a choke. Now, based on how tight you want the pattern downstream, the choke is going to close off the end of the barrel or open it up. So for activities like duck hunting, trying to reach about 40 or 50 yards out, you're going to need a really tight configuration or a full choke. If you're shooting maybe a singles event at the local trap range, you're going to want a nice big spread. Gives you better chances of hitting the target. And so you'll keep a nice big cylinder open choke for the shotgun event. Sure. So as far as home defense, is, that, is there a better way? Is there a better amount of choke? Or? Sure. Um, most of the time for home defense, you're going to use something like buckshot or a slug. In a slug, you're actually going to want to maintain a very open choke because the slug can lodge at the end of the barrel if that bottleneck is too tight. For buckshot, same thing. You're going to want a nice open choke because buckshot, because it's a much heavier 32 caliber pellet, is going to be a lot more consistent and stable and the, the uh, pattern is going to be a lot tighter. I see. So it, it gives it a nice balance, having a nice open choke with a tighter projectile. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So we're at 15 yards here at the, this distance that we're going to be shooting. How much of a spread of difference between spreads do you think we're going to see from uh, no choke to full choke? It's going to be uh, at 15 yards, we'll look at about a six to eight inch difference between full to open. The formula they use is they want it to be between, to be a 40 inch spread at a full choke at 25 yards and out to 45 yards for an open cylinder choke. So they're, they try and keep the math the same based on brand or regardless of brand, excuse me. So 40 inches of spread, 25 yards for full, 30, 35, 40, and then out to 45 for a cylinder choke. Okay. Well, that's really good. That's good information. So I'm excited to see what we got. Should we start Yeah, shooting? let's do it. All right, what are we going to shoot first? Well, let's keep it consistent. And uh, buckshot's going to look a little bit easier to identify on paper. Standard eight pellet double lot buck. We'll try it in both a, in all, in, in three different chokes. We'll do a full choke, a modified choke, which is the middle of the road, and then a cylinder choke, which is the two opposite ends of the spectrum. So we'll get a good balance. We'll take a look at it and see just how much of a difference it makes. All right, let's do it. Right on. We're gonna go bottom. Bottom? Yes. Okay, if you don't hit bottom, we're gonna make funny. That's bottom. I'll count that. Bottom. All right. Okay, so that was full. Or was that, wait. Which one was that? That was full. So that was the tightest configuration we're going to see today. Tightest configuration. Okay. So if we're looking at a middle of the road configuration. Okay. That would be a modified choke. Okay. There's full. And there's modified. Okay. Yeah. And you can see from here that that's spread out a little further. Absolutely it is. Okay. And then a shorter barrel with a cylinder choke. This should spread out quite a bit. Okay. So this is a cylinder, which means basically no choke. On the head. Should we go take a look at Let's it? Let's take a look. All right. Okay, so, oh, and. Interesting. So what we're trying to count is eight BBs per shot. So right here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's our first shot. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's our second shot. And all the way up here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's our third shot. Okay, so the middle of the road, and it's, I guess it's probably just coincidence. I'd say so. Uh, that just happened to be a tighter grouping than the, than the full choke. Yeah, when we looked at it earlier, we certainly saw a difference between the full and the modified choke. But definitely, we can really see a difference on the cylinder hmm. choke. Quite a bit of spread on that. And oh, absolutely. Yeah. So on this one, we did. You, it is a shorter barrel. So compared to choke, how much does the barrel length affect the spread? More than anything, to oh. be honest with you. Barrel length is always going to be your greatest determining factor for the shot spread placement. Um, they have great advancements in technology too that they use for things like buckshot. One of which is a technology called a flight control wad. A flight control wad opens up at the rear end of the wad instead of the front end like conventional wads. And so it, it acts like, um, almost like it's keeping it in the barrel. It keeps it in a cup as it travels downstream until it breaks free, which almost extends the length of the barrel up to an additional uh, two to three feet. So you get a really tight pattern when you use something like a flight control buckshot wad. And you know, it's just all kinds of different things that can determine the spread of the BBs on shotgun. It's a very versatile tool. Okay. So, you know, at a, at a uh, 15 yard distance, you know, we can see this is probably about as wide as you could expect to spread from a full choke, I'm guessing at this distance. Yeah. Uh, at least with buckshot. You know, yep. with buckshot and then this might be considered basically as tight as you could expect yep for a middle of the road choke. i'd say so for a modified and that's called a modified yes sir okay and then uh cylinder would you say this is about that's average pretty, yeah pretty standard pretty standard okay well great well thanks for joining us jordan i think that's <laughs> all the questions i got <laughs> all right man thanks right. for having me as always yeah no problem we might have to take some time and do some extra shooting. That sounds like a good plan. All right. We're all the way here already. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this week's episode of Guns Explained. I hope you learned a little bit, some, little something about shotguns, and we will catch you next week. That episode rocked. If you want to rock too, like our Facebook page and subscribe on Patreon to help support more episodes. Have a good day. And cut.